Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have a, a moist day with high humidity so my paint is still ready to go. I've got a shovel. I'm thinking about using my paint, adding some new paint to it, putting paint on this 16 by 20 inch canvas to flow other paint. And there's the rain. I did not beat the rain. I hope it doesn't decide to continue. I'll pull my edge catchers out of here. Son of a gun. Okay, well, cross your fingers, it doesn't rain. Come on, stay where I put you. It's time to clean up my studio. So, this is going to be interesting. Playing beat the rain instead of beat the clock. <coughs> so this is an OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint sp spreading tool I know of. And I am spreading a background color so that we can add new paint to the canvas that will flow more easily. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it doesn't really matter at this point because it, <laughs> it may all be for naught because of the rain. But I've managed to make a painting in the rain before, so I'm going to give it one more try right now. I think a little bit, a little bit more of that right there. So I might as well try something I haven't tried before, at least in the way of a start. I'm not getting the best coverage, I gotta say. It's unusual, but I think I'm hurrying. Okay, so now, what I'm inclined to do, now that I have most of my canvas covered, that was a bit of a chore, is take my pan of colors, throw my shovel from the last painting into the bucket. I'm gonna put some more black. I wish I could move this out of the way and show you guys. Maybe I can get it close enough so you'll see. I'm going to put some orange. And I'm hoping that I can get away with this and I'm not going to put, I'm not going to agitate the paint so much that it turns into something mucky. I want the magenta. These are looking like very strange colors to me right now. I didn't use very much gold my last time out, so I would like to do that. And there it is. Looking kind of tarnished today, actually. That's kind of strange. I'm going to put some white. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just put my favorite color in there that usually cures my issues. And that is a purple flash from Folk Art. And then some tur turquoise. Not so sure about that yellow. Definitely want some darker purple. And a little of that Venetian blue might have to go... Well, I don't know what's going to happen with that. In any case, I'll move these out of the way. I want some white metallic. I'm going to use my shovel. Just going to put a heavy layer down. I'm going to use up all my paint. Because I'm pretty sure that this may be the last painting that I'm going to get to do today. But you never know. I'm really trying my hardest not to make mud. But I think I'm going to scrape this right out with my OXO omelet turning spatula and figure whatever comes about is what's supposed to be. Because I know stretching the paint is a lot of the reason that we get cells. That and the flow troll, and it used to be the decor at pouring medium, but lately I'm running a little low. I'm going to let that paint that's on the edge on both sides go over the edge. Now that's pretty nice. I'm probably going to regret this, but you never know. So I've got an edge catcher. I'm going to put my paint pan right in the water because I can always find something else if I need to. And I've got another Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula.
I'm thinking about some gold, and I was thinking about a swipe earlier. I just never made it that far. Who knows what's going to happen. Let's give it some gold. And I've still got little swipe cards around here somewhere. I'm going to see if we can stretch some paint out and make it interesting. I kind of like it right now. I'm going to be sad if I muck this up. I want a little tiny swipe card or at least something that's going to let me have a little more gold, I think. I'm a lot nervous about dragging that up and down. Maybe I need to cut one. Nope, I've got some small ones. Let's see what happens if I don't use any enamel. I'm surprised it looks like it's getting gloppy a little bit. I'm not getting any cells, and I think the enamel is necessary for me. So let me grab some of that. And see if I'm right. And then I'm just going to keep following my intuition. My real intuition was to stop. Getting the message, I'm supposed to be using this um, this basting brush. So that's just what's going to have to happen. The colors are great. The patterns are okay. I like that blue in there. It's just the perfect little hit of color. Enamel didn't hurt anything. I've done stuff that reminds me of this before, and I've liked it. I'm going to try and dribble on this side instead of putting a line across. And then I'm off! <laughs> I just juggled that basting brush. Now I could swipe, but I want to try the basting brush first in case I can get away with not swiping. And I might try the basting brush and then swipe also. And I may keep tipping. And I could use chain. It's been a few days since I worked and I'm just just really interested in having some fun, to tell you the truth. Okay, so what now? I think I like the swipe. Effect. And I can still go back with the basting brush. but I definitely didn't get any cells from that. I've got great color that's right down on my sides. If I need some, I've got it right here. All right, so that's not bad. I kind of like that. And I think all I really need to do is decide if I'm going to do anything else. Like add some more marks. Because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. It's under the link tree link that's under the video. I used to always put spirals in my center strips when I do abstract expressionist artworks like this. So I'm really kind of enjoying adding that element in there. 
And a lot of times I do it after you guys are gone. So you might as well see me do it. I don't know how far I want it to go. I think I'm just going to follow my instincts. And as long as I can get my painting into the shed without the water dripping down, pouring down out of the canopy, I'll be happy. So this is pretty wild, but I actually really like it a lot. And I like it more with the spirals than I did the other way. And I can definitely add a few more waggling poles from earlier, deeper in the center of the canvas. And that's not hurting my feelings at all. That's marvelous. I'm super stoked, actually. I'm not always that lucky. I'm going to go in here sideways. There, there's a lot of movement, and uh, those spirals did not hurt my feelings a bit. I'm going to probably fix my edges and call it good. I'm going to tell you guys there's 88,000, almost 88,000 of you subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it when you share my videos, and I really appreciate it when you give me a thumbs up. Your comments are wonderful. Thank you. Keep my morale boosted. Your donations have kept me painting. It's raining harder. <laughs> oh boy, just in the nick of time. I chose to release the bubble spot in the paint. It's an important thing. You can ask me any questions you want. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the description, underneath the video. I love you guys dearly. I can feel the water bouncing off the back of my legs. It's a good thing that I've got something to cover up with. Check my 1400 videos out on my channel. And if you watch longer, it helps me. And I'm going to probably try and get the heck out of here pretty quick. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Still out. Here comes the cover. Well, you know what? I need to... Mm. Alright. I will see you guys. Bye for now.